Hey, it's Ron again. We're here at the Golden Gate International Film Festival. I got a good director right here who's nominated. Uh, please tell me your name. I'm Bob Williams. And the name of your film? You Will Be My Music. Great film. And by the way, it's a love story. And it's, what's interesting about this love story is that you actually met the person in this film for your wedding. And tell us how that transpired to this film. Uh, well, we met this guy. He was just had just moved from Buffalo to Chicago, and uh, you know, one of those lucky things, he, we hired him to be our wedding singer, and we fell in love with him as a singer and as a friend. Uh, he came to us a couple years later and said he had this incredible story about his father who wanted to be a singer, and that he was thinking at that time about making his debut album about that. And I said. That's a movie. We got to make this film. I'm going to do this film to try to help your musical career. And ironically, ten years later, uh, it took me a long time to figure out what story I wanted to tell. And um, I kept bouncing around because I fell in love with his father. I, the tenth of ten Italian kids. I'm Italian. I just fell in love with the family, the Marineros. And I kept bouncing around between what story do I want to tell, and it was like 10 years of bouncing back and forth. Well, this was supposed to be about this singer, but that's not the story. The story about the father and his dream and his son's love for him. And so it just, once that hit, and it was literally post-COVID, it sort of clicked in. I said, I got to get this done, and I got to tell the right story. And it just happened, which happens sometimes in filmmaking. It's amazing. 10 years later. So he mentioned a, uh, I guess a scene you had missed between the mother and the father, and then it happened again with the mother and the son. Please explain that. Man, life imitates art, and art imitates life. It's it's so cool, really. So probably my favorite scene in the film, Joe, the father, is listening to him, himself sing in this jazz concert and crying, and his wife, who has been his buddy, this dream, leans over, pulls a handkerchief out of his pocket and gives it to him so he can dab his eyes while he's crying. So now flash forward 10 years later, we're in the film in Buffalo premiering it and Joe, or uh, Paul, starts to cry and his mother's next to him and grabs the Kleenex and hands it to him so he can dab his eyes in the exact same scene that his father was crying 10 years previously. So again, I love I love life and I love art and I love the way the two just bounce back and forth. Well, yes, he had a good reception, a good response in the film, uh, the theater, and it is nominated. So, good luck to the best of you, Bob. Yes, and, sir. Yeah, good luck to Paul and his career. Yes, Thank you. I should, can I make one more? You sure can. Paul would have been here, but he's literally he's singing in, in Italy. He's doing a nice. little tour in Italy, which, <laughs> and again, 10 years ago, he was, he was unheard of. And he still kind of is in the room, but it was cool. So he missed this because he was in Italy, which is a great, the only excuse I'd give him. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you guys later. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you, Bob. Thanks yeah. for, and thank you, yeah. you know, getting a chance to, in fact, let me say this. Oh. Film festivals like this are really critical because filmmakers like me don't get our stuff out there. I'm not Spielberg. And so to just sit there in a theater with a crowd of people, friends and strangers, watching my stuff story on screen, it's fantastic. And I thank the film festival, I thank Ron, I thank Kapoor, thank you all. Yeah. Well, what you well, do for film is really, really important. So well, it's well deserved. Doing it. <laughs> doing it. Thank you. All right.